Hi everybody and welcome back. Now we're moving into a new section which is files part 2 and in this section we're going to look at some more advanced topics of working with files. So this lecture is called analyzing text and we can analyze text files containing large amounts of information such as, you've guessed it, books. And did you know that at gutenberg.org you can download the text files of classic books. In this program we'll use the string method split which can build a list of words from a string. The split method separates a string into parts wherever it finds a space and stores all the parts of a string in a list. Let's have a look at how we can do that. Let's start off with file name equals in quotes Heathcliff. And if anybody has not read Wuthering Heights, well, I highly recommend it. And now is the time to get reading. And Heathcliff is one of the main characters from Wuthering Heights. So try with open and what are we opening well we're opening our file name which is our file Heathcliff as oh, as file object so as the variable file object so contents what we want to do with our contents equals what well, we want to assign a contents file object and then we want to read that contents Now, like in our previous lectures, except file not found. So if we get a file not found error, message equals, sorry, the file plus file name. So we're building in some nice error features here cannot be found cannot be found there we go next print message else words equals contents now we're going to count the words in our file words.split So the number of words equals len, which is length, so that counts the number of words, and then print the file plus file name plus has approximately. approximately plus now we need to convert our number of words to a string so string number words plus words okay now let's run this and make sure it works for us the file heatcliff.txt has approximately 118,899 words in it. Okay, so a lot of words. There we go. So that's how many words are in our file heatcliff.txt. So how are we able to do that? Well, let's just have a quick run through our file. So we started off with a variable file name and we assigned that the text heatcliff.txt. Then we have our try block. So with open file name, so open our the variable file name, which is our file heatcliff.txt as file object. Then we create a variable, contents equals our file object dot read. So read the entire file object into contents. If we cannot find a file, we output an error message. Sorry, the file cannot be found. Otherwise, the words, so then we assign contents dot split. As we mentioned earlier on, the split method separates a string into parts wherever it finds a space and stores all the parts of a string in a list. So we have contents dot split assigned to words, the variable words. Then we have another variable, the number of words equals the length of words. And then we simply print out the file name and the string number of words. So a lot coming together there, but an excellent piece of code and an excellent little program. Thanks for listening, and if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact me.